May God bless you all. Recently, Pope Benedict has imparted a very interesting catechesis and very profound concerning the mendicant orders. Normally, mendicant orders are those that sprung in the Middle Ages, mainly, I would say, the Franciscans, the Dominicans, and also Carmelites and Augustinians, etc. Now, what is interesting about the word mendocare means begging. This is exactly the name mendocare, or going to the people humbly for economic support to live the vow of poverty and to carry out an evangelizing mission. In fact, even we as Franciscans started that way. And uh, it's interesting that this model of great renewal in the church produced a lot of saints. Now, obviously, contrary to the Albigesians and Cathars and all those groups of heresy of the time, the Franciscans and the Dominicans tried to follow the poverty of Jesus at the same time by living evangelical poverty they showed that they are authentic because they followed not just the gospel but also they had a profound communion with the church and the papacy and that was a very important point obviously the pontiffs of the time like Innocent III and Honorius III gave their full support to these new ecclesiastical experiences because in them they recognized the voice of the Holy Spirit. Now there are some characteristics which are very important even for today's Franciscans and Dominicans, Carmelites, Augustinians, etc. First of all, the first characteristic for us who are in mendical orders is obviously giving witness to poverty that is that we are witnesses of the humanity of Jesus that we are to portray the divine charity that we are not to appropriate but on the contrary whatever we have is in common Another characteristic which is dominant in the mendicant orders is the proclamation of the gospel in simplicity and in its depth. Even in the way we preach, we are to let the Spirit lead us in that manner. Dealing with everyday life in the light of the gospel. Now, this put us as teachers too, because teaching, real teaching, deals with themes that are close to the life of the people, especially concerning the practice of faith, hope and charity and moral virtues with concrete examples, which are easily understood. And we are invited to teach ways to nourish the life of prayer and piety. For instance, we Franciscans have always spread the devotion to the humanity of Christ with that commitment of imitating the Lord. And this put us as mendicant friars to really be spiritual directors and confessors of the people because the more we know people's lifestyles the more we can give them time and the more we can help them find the Lord obviously today we too are called to become the spiritual leaders of this global city I would say and that's why the Lord has put us in the center, close to the cities, 
so that through us he can minister to his people. It's important that we as friars learn the value of itinerancy. We are called to travel from one place to another with missionary zeal. We are called to be missionaries even on the internet, even on the email, even on mobile. Thus, this opens us as friars to the needs of the universal church. We are called to be flexible, fully imbued by the missionary dynamism. Obviously, today's learning is challenging us to enter into the field, into the academical field, but not to obtain a prestige, but to be service to the truth, like our forefathers did. Think, for example, of the great thinkers St. Thomas Aquinas and Bonaventures, who were mendicants, operating, in fact, with this dynamism of the new evangelization, which also renewed courage of thought, of dialogue between faith and reason. We as mendicant friars are called to be ministers of charity in truth, an intellectual charity to exercise, to enlighten intelligences and combine faith with culture. It's an invitation to make ourselves present in places of the elaboration of learning, to propose with respect and conviction the light of the gospel on the fundamental questions that concern man, his dignity and his eternal des destiny. Now, speaking of the spiritual renewal that we as mendicant daughters are called to bring into the church of today, a monk by the name of Burchard Dursberg Chronicon said, at the time the world was growing old, two orders arose in the church from which it renewed its youth like that of an eagle. We too, especially we dear brothers and sisters in the Franciscan, Dominican, Carmelite, Augustinian order, we too are called to propose these ways of being in the church, these ways of evangelizing, the ch this, these ways of showing Christ to the world, especially through our, through our poverty, evangelical poverty, through preaching, through our involvement with uh, people, and also through academic, and why not, ministers of truth in the media, whether it be internet, newspapers, television, etc., so that Christ will be preached, Christ will be witnessed in front of everyone. Father God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' blood, in the Holy Spirit, bless these four orders today, Franciscans, Carmelites, Dominicans and Augustinians, fill them with your Holy Spirit, bring more and more vocations into these orders and renew them by your love. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' blood and the Holy Spirit we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, sinners now, and in the hour of our death. Amen. And saints of Franciscans, Dominicans, Carmelites, and Augustinians, intercede for us. May God Almighty bless you and protect you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.